working with Julian today. Been a little on the jumpy side and I'm gonna move my mounting block just so you guys can see, but when I'm getting my horse good up to the mounting block, I had a question the other day. I wanna treat it just like there's a fence here. And I've, I've done that with the fence before, but I wanna drive him down to the end of that and then break his hind. I don't want him coming in behind. And then as I lift here, I'd like him to cuddle up to me there where it's really convenient for me to get on. I don't want to have to chase him or leap because sometimes he gets worried about stuff flopping. Then I check him out with this stuff. I might accidentally bump my rope there when I get on, so I don't want him afraid of that. Once he's good, again, I check this stirrup out on the offside. He can see me on this side. Let me check that out. I push my rope forward though, so it's up out of the way. I get on halfway. It's not quite such a pull on their back if I'm getting on from the mounting block there. And then, again, when I get on, I want to reach for him. Good. I want to reach for him. Good. We want to reach for him until he can reach for us there. There he got soft. And we'll go again. Good. And we'll walk him off. Now. It's hot humid. And again, we don't, we're not just going to rush into it. A little head bobby from the flies. But I want him soft first. No different than any other horse. I want to work on that softness. When I reach for him, I want him to reach for me. And I'd like him to stay soft here. Change directions, we'll do a little leg yield. Good. And we'll soften. my walk out and I'll jog with my body if he doesn't make it here I'm gonna come in with my legs just a little but I don't want to beg him and we'll slow him down to the walk I'll jog with my body I want him to feel in my body if he can't feel my body from the jog he's probably not gonna feel it from the canter but if he doesn't feel it my legs will come in and then it's more of a speed up. I don't quite have a destination, so it's the smallest change in the slightest try. Good. And I'm gonna work on some figure eights here, but as I go, I wanna push this hip to the left and I'll canter with my body. If he can't find it, he tried. I'm just going to change directions here. Push the hip to the right. From the right lead. If he gets a little bracy, I'm going to slow him down. And work on him softening. I don't want him rushing ahead. We'll push that hip over a little enter with our body. He braces, we'll take him back down soft. We'll canter with our body again. 
and work on softening. He's holding, holding, so I'm going to slow down, get him soft a few times. Whoop. He braced through the transition, re-prepare, re-canter with my body. There, soften, soften, there. Softens. Good. Good. There's bracing. Resoften. Don't want him pushing. There. Good. That was nice. That circle left. Pushing the hip to the right. Hip still right. Scan it rightly. Kind of like a teeter-totter. I don't want it to be like a snowball rolling downhill as he grabs a hold and wants to go a little too fast. I'm not going to fight with him. I'd rather come back, slow him down, re-soften. Preparation. I want him to shift his hip in, shift his weight a little bit there, like that. Shift his weight over, but not brace. And then we'll canter with our body again. I want him to reach up. Good. There, he didn't brace to slow down, we just slowed him down. softening before we move him up. Canter a little more. Soften. There. Slow down. Good. Starting to listen to that transition. So again, continuing to go. We don't want to get to where we beg him either, but he's rolling pretty nice. But we want those transitions that he's coming because of our body and not because we're kicking him into it. That way if he's going with our body, if he comes back, we still have our leg to fall back on. But as long as we can kind of canter with our body, we're like a backpack and that'll help him to balance as he steps his feet up to that canter. And again, since he rushes there, we'll work on doing some stopping and backing till he can find that stop. He can already find this back up here without feeling his nose and staying soft. He's staying soft and I can't feel his nose. But we want to take it to where the stop is good and he doesn't brace. There he got soft. We'll start our back up. It started soft. Good. We'll ride forward again. We'll get him soft. See how he braces? I want to take that brace out through that transition. Good. There, he softened into that transition. And that's about what we're looking for. It's a nice little brace to break for a little while. We'll give him a little break, and then we'll put another ride on him later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, 
make sure you can feel free to email me. I'll try to either get them on here or we do do some video lessons too if you want to send us a video of your your horse and then we can show you on a video from us uh, kind of talking about that video. So you send us about a 20 minute video of what's going on and then we'll give you a write up and, and some paperwork and try to do a video or two about that issue, if not more. Because usually if you have the question, someone else might, so you'll be helping other people out as well. So anyways, get in touch with us. Let us know if you have any questions. Uh, I'd like to be able to bend him here before I get off him without him moving his feet. A little antsy. I get one side. you watching. Uh, like I said, look forward to hearing from you. But thanks for your time. It means a lot. There's a lot of ways you can spend your time, so it means it's a lot that you spent your time watching here. Enjoy the journey. Happy trails. Catch you on the next one.